two straight against the Crimson Tide. But could there be some magic in Foster Auditorium today? Stay tuned, we'll all find out together. Kennedy Muff, the transfer from Flagler, will serve to start for the visitors. Looking for a touch, no touch, that one out from Jordan Towns. Jordan Towns, the freshman, was injured earlier this season, has been making her way back from that. And Coach Reed has been very impressed by the focus she's seen in this freshman. Palmer just has to get it over. And then Palmer found a little space. Alabama's on the board. Palmer forced the overpass there, then put the ball back down. Always a fun moment when a hitter gets to be up at the net, playing with little to no block in front of her. Kind of set herself up there. Kaylee Palmer did not get a ton of action in the first meeting between these two. We expect to see her a lot today. And there is Martin, my goodness. Such a smart move by Kennedy Martin. What she does such a good job of is using her peripheral vision while she's in the air to make decisions about what to do with the ball. She saw that there was a massive hole in the block there and put the ball right through it. Certainly pleasing to her head coach, Mary Wise, a legend in this sport. Here's Palmer again that's blocked. Palmer. And Kaylee Palmer has another kill. Great, that is a fun moment to watch when a player hits into the block, but her teammates have her back. You saw Kendall Ray, the other outside for Alabama, kept that ball alive. And Palmer went up there again, fearless, with another swing for the kill. That's such a great confidence moment for a hitter to know that her teammates have her back while she's swinging up at the net. Martin, oh my goodness. Martin is going to be a hassle for this Alabama defense all day. Martin this time swinging from the right side of the net. That's something that Coach Wise has done a really good job of, is creating a confusing offense, one that's hard for opposing teams to keep track of exactly where each hitter is, where she's swinging from along the net. Sir by Trini Adams is into the net. Service error. As we take a look at Alabama head coach Rashinda Reed, second season in Tuscaloosa. It's been a tough go the last few weeks, but she feels like she is building this program the right way, that they've got the pieces to compete in the future for sure. Came to Tuscaloosa after time as an assistant at Illinois. That's powerful. A.C. Fitzpatrick, the senior. Gray, we talked about Kennedy Martin, but A.C. Fitzpatrick is another dominant pin hitter for Florida. Similarly, she has got so many different weapons in her toolbox. She's smart at knowing when to go for the powerful swing, when to throw an off-speed shot across the net. And there's Ray for Alabama. Kendall Ray needs to have a good day if the Crimson Tide wants to get the victory. Absolutely. She is a very steady, consistent player. This season, she has been the go-to player for Alabama anytime they're out of system. It's been a tough last few matches for Ray. Campbell gets the kill, and that's someone who has really thrived as the season has gone on, Lane. Absolutely. She's really come into her own this season and developed some confidence, it seems, herself. Good serve from Callie Kiefer. Fitzpatrick. That's blocked out. All even at five here in the first set. And back to the Florida libero, Ellie McKissick, senior from Windermere, Florida. Campbell blocked. Here's Towns. That's out. But a touch is called and the point goes to Florida. It looks like Gray, the line judge, initially called that ball in, actually. Points given to Florida, but Coach Reed grabs her challenge call card. 
There's the block we saw in the middle of that point. Great heads up move by Callie Kiefer to pick that up. This is the swing, however. That ball was called in initially, but Coach Reed pulled her challenge card. They're gonna take a look at, I'm sure, two things. A, whether that ball touched any part of the Alabama sideline, and B, whether the Alabama blockers up by the net touched any piece of the ball. So quick. That really has been what the challenge card is such a blessing for, is those moments when it is a hard, to, a tough call to make and a quick call. And, and Coach Reed has been pretty good with the challenges this year. There's Ray, and that is way long from Kendall Ray, tied up at six. Tough to miss a serve right out of a timeout, even though that wasn't a timeout. Those challenge cards give the coaches a couple minutes to talk with their team. Here's the sophomore, Emily Canan. Had a couple service aces against Alabama earlier this year, the Allen, Texas native. And there is a service error to give one right back to Alabama. Victoria Schmier will serve. Towns. Here's Palmer. Kill for Kaylee Palmer, who's had a nice start. Great defensive effort by Alabama on that point, starting with Victoria Schmier getting the dig, then Towns covering herself. Gave Palmer the opportunity to swing. Martin could not float it in. Alabama up by three here in the opening set. Remember, it's play to 25, win by two, up until the fifth. That play looked like a rare miscommunication error in the Florida offense. Good serving from Schmier. Victoria missed, no touch. Timeout Gators. Alabama on a 4-0 run to take. Won the matchup earlier this year. Alabama has not won a set against Florida since 2008, but the tide off to a good start here in the opening set. And Victoria Schmier will make it better with a service ace. Victoria Schmier, another leader on this Alabama team. She's got a tough float serve and goes back there with the intention to score. She does a really good job of placing the ball low across the net. Free ball for Wells, but couldn't find space. Victoria. Chance for Florida to end the run. There's Martin, she missed. That's twice now, Gray. We've seen a hitting error out of Martin when she's coming out the back row. I'm sure something she's gonna talk through with her setter, Kennedy Muff. What a run with Schmier on serve. It ends with a service error, but the damage is done. Alabama up by five. You see Coach Reed still encouraging Victoria Schmier after that. She likes a high risk, high reward approach to serving. Palmer, Kaylee Palmer with a little power. Huge swing out of the freshman. You see her getting fired up there. Gray, it's really exciting to see some of these freshmen that are on the court come into their own throughout the season, get more comfortable with what they can do physically, but then also the mental part of it, getting comfortable with knowing how to execute a game plan. And serving well. Alabama is feeling it right now. Absolutely. You can definitely feel the momentum here in Foster Auditorium. Beautiful float serve from Sydney Golson. Golson's 17th service ace this year. Too strong there, but Alabama's lead is six here in the first set. Oh, 
over to Sophia Victoria, a talented senior from Puerto Rico, captain for the Puerto Rican national team. And she gets an ace. Beautiful spot from Victoria. Both teams serving super well here tonight. We've seen a lot of that float serve that is just so effective and most comparable to the knuckleball in baseball. It can seemingly drop out of nowhere. Fifth ace of the year for Sophia Victoria. Wells, our first look at Aaliyah Wells, ends with a kill. No surprise there. Alabama looks to Aaliyah Wells to get the side out. She is so good at running that slide footwork where she jumps off of one leg to make contact with the ball behind the setter. She has been dominant in that for several seasons now. Bertucci to serve for Alabama, Northern Illinois transfer. Here's Martin, she's trying to get going. Maybe that will get things started for the fabulous freshman. Martin that time turns the ball down the line. Shows a lot of her poise and body control doing what's called a thumbs down shot, meaning while she makes contact with the ball, she points her thumb in a downward direction. Ray blocked, big time by the Gators. The Gators definitely trying to turn around the momentum here. That's Gabby Essex working with Kennedy Martin to create a massive wall that really doesn't give their opponents much room to swing. Essex, one of the best in blocks per set in the SEC. Here's Wells, great dig. And now Fitzpatrick. Wells again. Good rally, Fitzpatrick tipped up. One more for Aaliyah Wells, that's blocked! What defense from Florida to get within three? I love seeing the hustle on both sides of the net. Look at this diving effort to keep that ball alive. And both teams continuing to swing, continuing to hustle. That's what you expect from high-level SEC volleyball at this point in the season. Florida starting to find a rhythm. That'll help a service ace. Timeout called by Rashinda Reed. Florida has scored the last four points to get within. Transfer from Flagler was three-time PBC setter of the year at a previous spot. She's and this answered is the call really well. Absolutely. This opinion. is still a Florida team you cannot forget about once we get to the NCAA tournament. They will be oh so dangerous. Out of a timeout, Ray Bertucci kept it alive. And that's a kill for Essex. Great, that is a perfect example of how Florida is so good at transitioning from offense to defense quickly. Do you see how quick that ball came out of the hands of Kennedy Muff and was on the hitting arm of Gabby Essex? And there's a free ball for Martin. This is quite a run on the serve of Trinity Adams. Trinity Adams is doing a great job of keeping Alabama out of system right now. I'm sure Coach Reed is encouraging her team to just focus on getting the pass, let the rest of the play follow. Maybe a chance for Wells. Fitzpatrick. Oh, Kiefer was trying to get tricky, but sent it into the net. That was a beautiful dig by Ray, who had to go down to the floor for that ball. Kiefer knew her outside hitter was down. Probably didn't know exactly where Wells was. I think it was a smart decision to try to go over on two. Here's Ray. Great dig. Fitzpatrick. Florida is on a roll, eight straight points. Beautiful down the line shot there by Fitzpatrick. Saw an opening and took it, but wow, this dig to keep that ball alive. Trinity Adams from the service line to her defensive role has been dominant this set. Alabama just not finding anything. Fitzpatrick again, somehow kept alive. Watch out, here's Martin, that's blocked. 
Fitzpatrick, long. Was there a touch? There was not, point Alabama. The whole Florida team looking for the touch call there, didn't get it. All of these defensive efforts, this hustle is so fun to watch right here. What Fitzpatrick was going for was intentionally trying to hit off the hands of the block, but missed a little long. Here's Wells. Really good serve. Fitzpatrick. Campbell. Wells down, we're tied again. Wells out the back row, goes for the back row attack, makes contact with the Florida block, but ends up with the kill. Some of those swings aren't quite as pretty, but on the stat sheet, that is still a kill and that is still a point on the scoreboard. Martin looking to answer, she sent it into the net. Martin remembers scoring down the line. It looked like she had not forgotten that, was going for the down the line shot again. Missed into the net. Talk about a set of runs. Now Alabama's won three straight points. But a service error ties it at 18. We've seen a lot of service errors so far on both sides of the net. This set, I'm sure that's a conversation that's going to be had between sets on both sidelines. Martin. There's Campbell. Kill for Chase Campbell. Remember, she had her career high with 15 in the earlier meeting against the Gators this year. Always exciting to see when Callie Kiefer can get her middles. Chase Campbell and Aaliyah Wells involved. Credit goes there to Sydney Golson with the beautiful pass off of a tough serve. Kiefer a little long. Tied up at 19, an aggressive serve that just missed. Great, we talk about that high risk, high reward approach to serving. And it's hard when you're seeing it look pretty lopsided. We've seen some aces, but definitely more errors so far this match. Ellie McKissick, a strong server. Here she is for Florida. Ray, McKissick was there. Oh my goodness, but Alabama couldn't keep the play alive. Diving effort from Victoria Schmier, but it looked like a communication error there. That was a beautiful effort to get that ball up. Towns just had to get it over. Victoria. Bertucci digs. Ray blocked. Ray again. Here's Victoria. Towns. Nothing for Martin. Here's Campbell. Couldn't negotiate. Victoria, missed, no touch, we're tied at 20. What a great rally, seeing swings from almost every front row player on the court. And great defensive efforts on both sides. Tough to see that end on a hitting error. We've seen a couple times Florida trying to turn the ball down the sideline, missing a little bit wide. What a first set. Lily Hopkins, the freshman, misses long and wide. Another service error, and that's a story. That's now six for Alabama. That is really tough to come back from, thinking six of Florida's 21 points are just those service errors. That's almost a third of Florida's points. Emily Canan. Here's Palmer, missed. Aggressive swing by Palmer. 
on that out of system play. That's a moment where the whole gym knew Palmer was going to get the ball out of system. Maybe a time to focus more on just. Before we get to the selection process. Florida up by two points here in the first set. Out of a timeout. We'll see if Alabama can find an answer. Canan to serve. Palmer. And that's a kill for Kaylee Palmer and a nice play by my partner. <laughs> Thank you. We're definitely sometimes in the danger zone over here. That was a beautiful swing. Gotta, gotta keep the monitor safe. It's an occupational hazard. Of course, protect the equipment <laughs> at all costs. Here's Schmier. Victoria. That is well wide. We're tied at 22. Another hitting error gives Alabama the point. Florida's struggling to get into an offensive rhythm a little bit today. Mary for the point. It's get the ball over in and make the defense work for it. But over and in, give your team a chance to reset and then try to come back the next rally. Martin, that is great stuff from the freshman. Florida's back in front. That is exactly what we expected to see from Martin tonight out of the back row. She struggled a little bit at the beginning of the set, had two opportunities that were unsuccessful. But there, that is what she does so well. There's Palmer. That's blocked but kept alive. Martin called for it. Martin got the kill. Set point, Florida. Martin again swinging down the line. It's clear, Gray, that that is a part of their game plan. What they've seen from Alabama, they knew they could be successful if they swung down the line. They missed a few times earlier in the set, but when they have gotten the ball in, they've been incredibly successful. Wells, no. Martin looking to close it out, but it's blocked by Aaliyah Wells. This time, Aaliyah Wells was there, presented hands high above the net, did such a good job of tracking Martin as she came into the court. That was a beautiful block. And Alabama clearly fired up after that point. Still set point for Florida. Golson will serve. Martin. Oh, that is so smart. The freshman gives Florida a first set victory. No surprise they look to Martin to end that set. Smart move by Martin. She just had the powerful swing for a kill. That time goes for the tip, and that will... In the first, they had chances at the tail end. Florida was able to grab that first set, though, and now here we are in set number two. And that got over somehow for Martin. Another kill for the freshman. No surprise, first ball. Florida gives it to Martin. She does a smart off-speed shot. That's what she does so well, Gray. She mixes up when she goes for the powerful swing, and when she tries to put the ball somewhere, Alabama's defense has to move for it. Eight kills for Martin. In response, there's Towns, who made that look easy. 6-6, six, six, Jordan Towns puts that ball down with ease. Credit there goes to Callie Keeper, the setter for Alabama. Anytime you see a hitter hitting with virtually no block in front of them, you've got to look to the setter doing a good job running her team's offense and confusing the opposing defense. There's Martin again. My goodness, that was rifled. Huge swing from Martin seeing a hole in the Alabama block. Even from a few feet off the net, that's what she does so well, is looking at what's in front of her and swinging where she has space. Palmer. Florida gets it back over. Now Wells, little off balance. Here's Martin. And that's down for A.C. Fitzpatrick. Such a smart move by A.C. Fitzpatrick to hit that sharp cross shot all the way to the left back sideline. That's something 
in those long rallies, it's easy for defenses to get sucked in more towards the middle of the court. So looking for the sideline can be really effective. That's long. Palmer couldn't get it down. Florida up three here in the second. That time Palmer going for the high hands, intentional off the hands of the Florida block kill. Miss long. Gators have won a lot of points on the serve of Trinity Adams here today. Looking for another, Fitzpatrick. Another kill for AC Fitzpatrick, she's got five. Fitzpatrick with a kill down the line. That's something I'm sure the Alabama coaches are working through, how they can respond to Florida's effectiveness swinging down the line. Sometimes there's some changes you can make to your blocking scheme. Over to Wells, that's blocked by Florida. Florida clearly in a rhythm here at the start of this second set. Really clicking so well as a team. That is a huge block for Florida. Great hustle by Gabby Essex to get out there. Man, what great serving from Adams. Florida will get an easy look here. Martin. Schmier sends it back. Essex missed wide. That Alabama sideline hype for the libero, their libero, Victoria Schmier, who did a good job of just getting in position to be behind the ball. When these offenses are coming so quick, this ball is coming so fast off the hands of these hitters. Sometimes it's just about being in the right spot. Victoria Schmier did just that to keep the ball alive. She's had a really good defensive match. Fitzpatrick just sends it over. Wells. McKissick laid out, but the kill goes to Aaliyah Wells. Good hustle there by Florida. Heads up move there by Wells to throw that ball to the left back sideline, change the momentum of the point. Bertucci gets the ace. This is exactly what we saw in the first set. Both teams going on little runs. It's interesting to watch how these teams really rally behind the momentum of a server. Right now, Francesca Bertucci at the service line for Alabama. Third ace of the year for Bertucci. Florida trying to end the run, and Fitzpatrick will do just that. Looks like another defensive communication error on Alabama's side. Coach Reed clearly displeased. That's something that at this point in the season you really want to have worked through. Communication errors should be at an absolute minimum. Maybe something you expect to work through in the preseason, but not at this point in conference play. Down, Martin with the ace. Martin scoring points in the front row, in the back row at the service line. She really is such a great all-around player. There's the error. Florida's lead back to three. Gray, I think that's the second or third time this match we've seen a player serve an ace and then have a serving error. There's no time like right after an ace that it's important to get a ball in the court. Over to Fitzpatrick. Gray, I don't know if you're recognizing this pattern as well, but when Florida swings down the line, they are playing and scoring so easily. That's something Alabama has to find an adjustment, make an adjustment, find a way to respond to. Seven kills for AC Fitzpatrick, second year in the program after transferring in from Penn State. Ray. Here's Victoria, blocked. Huge block by Chase Campbell. She was an impact player in Alabama and Florida's last matchup. And today, again, she has done such a great job of developing under head coach Rashinda Reed, who also played the middle blocker position.
Campbell has talked about the impact that that's made on her performance. Somehow Florida got it over. This is a wonky point. Alabama trying to settle. Waiting for a call. It is in face between. I wonder if all of these questions just made the review officials say there's nothing indisputable about this point, Florida. I'm not sure exactly what the call ended up being. I was looking to see what the officials would say to Coach Reed as she looked for an explanation. Alabama with one challenge left. If you win your challenge, you get to keep it. You do not win, you lose it. So that green index card only available one more time for Coach Reed until the fifth set. Here's Towns. That's really nicely done by Jordan Towns. I think that's the second time we've seen after a challenge, whoever won the challenge, the opposing team scores immediately. It's always fun. Sometimes there's nothing like feeling like you got a bad call to fire you up, get you to score the next point. Here's Hopkins, 11th match played for the freshman. Oh, that was well long. Okamore put way too much on it. Okamore looked like she was falling slightly backwards as she made contact with that ball. That's something that's so difficult about the slide footwork is staying disciplined and staying behind the ball and chasing it down. Over to Victoria, it's blocked. Huge block for Alabama. That wall that is created by Jordan Towns and Chase Campbell, when it comes together, really is so huge. And tough to find room to swing around. Alabama had only one block in the entire match against Florida last time. Tied as three today. There's Martin. No better answer for the Florida Gators than Candy Martin. Martin out the back row, seemingly swinging straight through the Alabama block. She's done a really great job tonight of always being available for her setter, Kennedy Muff, now at the service line. Service error there from Florida, but we should note that kill from Martin is her 10th. She has now had double-digit kills in every match this year. Such an impressive stat for a freshman. And really is incredible to see such poise from a young player. Another really good serve from Victoria Schmier. Martin almost wiped it out. Towns. Kill for Jordan Towns. We are even at 11. Towns off the hands of the Florida block, turning into her team saying, I didn't touch it before it went out of bounds. Insisting she didn't make contact with it after it hit the Florida blocker's hands. What do the Gators have? Oh, Martin missed wide. She thought she got it, but Alabama's in front. Martin definitely disagrees with that call, but she was going for the down the line shot. No surprise. Florida's seen success there, but Callie Kiefer watched that ball land out. Three straight points for Alabama. Okamore ties it again. Okamar takes care of that ball, but can we talk about the pass there? Great job by Emily Cannon getting her platform behind that ball. That was a tough serve, and she gave her setter, Kennedy Muff, a great ability to choose whoever she wanted to set. Here's Victoria. No options for Alabama. Now Martin is blocked by Palmer, freshman on freshman. Kaylee Palmer waiting for that, throws the ball right back down. Something Coach Reed talked about this week was how much she loves the bench energy that Alabama's sideline brings, and they were practically crawling on the court after that point to celebrate with Kaylee Palmer. Response, Fitzpatrick. 
Fitzpatrick with the kill down the line again. Gray, I'd be interested to see where Florida has scored so far and how many of their kills have been down the sideline. I'll tell you what, they scored a lot of points off the serve of Adams, who just delivered that one. They'll get another one off the serve of Adams after Palmer misses. Palmer missed wide. Looks like she was going for the cross court shot there. Which I think would have been smart given the flow of the point. Here's Wells. Fitzpatrick. Back to Wells. Kill for Alabama. Huge swing from Aaliyah Wells. Great. Another thing we've seen tonight that we haven't seen a ton this season is a lot of defensive specialists playing for Alabama earlier in the season. They were running rotations where they had more offensive weapons in at any given moment. But we've seen almost three defensive specialists in the back row quite a lot tonight. Here's Martin. Miss Long. Alabama grabs the lead yet again as we head to break. We told you there'd be drama. Alabama taking on the number one team in the country and hanging. Really different mix otherwise. Out of a timeout, Fitzpatrick. What a sharp shot to tie it at 15. Huge cross court shot from Fitzpatrick. It is so hard to defend a player that can put the ball down by the 10 foot line, but also has the self-awareness and control to choose to intentionally swing deeper into the court. Here's Martin. Ray. Kendall Ray gets the kill and she has two today. That's a beautiful response from Kendall Ray. She did a great job there of doing what we talked about. Martin being great at earlier this match, seeing what's in front of her and swinging through the hole in the block. Back and forth we go, there's Wells. Looking for Fitzpatrick. Bertucci was there. Ray. Great dig by Martin. Fitzpatrick again, blocked by Campbell. Chase Campbell fired up after that block. Celebrating with her teammates. What a great job of getting out there over with her setter, Callie Kiefer. Presenting those hands above the net, really sealing across the net creating a ceiling, if you will. And a two-point lead. Back to the Gators, Fitzpatrick couldn't get it down. Here's Ray, blocked. The Florida block comes up big. Great job by Florida, waiting on that ball, even though it was an out-of-system play. And Ray was swinging from off the net. Sometimes it can be tough to be patient when a player is swinging from off the net to wait and jump a second later on the block. Here's Campbell. No touch, point Gators. Coach Reed going to grab the challenge card. Chase Campbell looking for a touch on that ball. The call is that there is a touch and Alabama will win the challenge. This will send Callie Kiefer back to the service line and be, bring freshman Jordan Towns back into the game for Alabama. And talk about trust lane. Rashinda Reed thought a lot about it. Chase Campbell said there was a touch, challenge it. And Alabama will have one challenge left. Up by two in the second. A chance for Alabama. Campbell, nothing there. There's Martin. The Tide can't keep it alive and Martin has the response. That's a great rally there and a great defensive effort on both sides. Martin, you see how high above the net she is. Callie Kiefer tried to keep that ball in the air. Jordan Towns couldn't quite track it down. 
Canan will serve. Towns. Victoria. Another kill for Sophia Victoria. We're even at 18. What Sophia Victoria did on that play, Gray, is she intentionally did what's called a swipe, where you swing sideways and try to force the ball off the hands of the blockers out of bounds to the sideline. Ray. And that was well long. Hit the lines, Judge. Florida up one. And it's While she has the Levera jersey on, she's moved to right back before. We see Ellie McKissick is doing that right now. She's switching up where she plays. There are a few different adjustments, but first and foremost, they've got to shut that down and limit the errors, the unforced errors, the hitting errors, the serving errors. Good serve by Canan. Ray, nothing there. Martin from the back. No surprise. Florida looking to further their lead, turns to Martin. See, she gets so high in the air and does such a good job of staying disciplined and jumping from behind the 10-foot line when she's playing in the back row, but lands way in front of it. Campbell answers the call. Huge swing from Chase Campbell. She has just grown and grown in her maturity and in her setter-hitter connection with Callie Kiefer this season. It's been really exciting to see her blossom as she's become more and more aggressive with her swings. That was blocked by Palmer, but kept alive. And then Martin with pinpoint accuracy wins the point. That is what sets her apart, Gray. She does such a good job of making these heads up plays. She's always in, at, in athletic stance, always where she's supposed to be, which allows her to make those athletic plays. Palmer. No, miss wide. Florida three points away from grabbing the set and Rashinda Reed will call another timeout. Coach Reed, I'm sure, going to discuss with her team something that she talked to us about earlier this week, reminding her players just to go out there and do their job. Right now, what Alabama really needs is they need a pass. The de defensive specialists that we've seen come in for them today have done a really phenomenal job. And let the Alabama offense then get Aaliyah Wells, get Chase Campbell involved. And they've got Muff back to serve, up by three. Towns blocked. And a point for Florida. Grace, something interesting to look at is just how much confidence Florida has seemed to have, no matter what was going on in the match. No matter who had the momentum, they look so confident out on this court. Campbell, that's the answer Alabama needed. They're down three. Chase Campbell, an impact player for sure for Alabama tonight. Was it during the, these teams' last matchup as well. And Batide has Schmier serving. She's probably been the best today. Martin, there's nothing you can do to stop that. Florida has set point. Those deep corner kills really are so impressive and so hard to defend. It can be tempting as a hitter to see some room to swing and try to swing straight down, but that's oftentimes where the block is. Great job by Martin to go intentionally for the corner. And she'll have a chance to close out the second set. And she will do just that. Florida closes strong to go up two sets to none. Communication errors, their setter settling into this match, but boy, in the second set, she just took off and has been really dominant here in Foster Auditorium tonight. Glad you're with us here in Tuscaloosa. Gray Robertson, Lane Stone. Watching a really fun one to close out 
Veterans Day weekend. And to close out the day in SEC Volleyball, everybody else is done. We've seen some tight matches across the conference. And we've seen some really electric play here today. There's Wells. Great dig. Towns. Strong rally to start set number three. Victoria. Schmier was there. Here's Towns. Canan laid out, and then Martin was able to put it away. Can we talk about some of the digs we saw during that rally? Canan for Florida all over the court. Victoria Schmier had a couple great ones for Alabama. And then no surprise in the point, Martin swinging on the right pin. Towns, another look, but it's blocked by Victoria. Victoria ready that time, doing a great job of watching Towns travel across the sideline, staying disciplined, staying inside of her. That was a great block by Sophia Victoria. Here's Towns, that's blocked. The Gators have come out on fire here in the third set. Definitely going on a run here. Something though that we saw both in the first and the second set, we saw a team go on a run. They've got the momentum right now, but we've seen a ton of momentum shifts throughout the first two sets. Strong serving from Muff. Oh, that was beautiful. Just died down a service ace for Candy Muff. That is the beauty of this float serve. With the right contact, it can just drop out of nowhere. That was a beautiful serve from Kennedy Muff. Fourth ace today for Florida. Palmer. Here's Victoria, and a kill for Sophia Victoria. Florida's grabbed the first five points of the set. That ball off the right hand of Wells, who Look, just a half second late on that block. This Florida offense is really so quick. It is hard as a blocker to keep up. Wells off balance. Here's Wells again. Certainly not off balance that time. Great body control by Aaliyah Wells there. You see she swings on that ball in the opposite direction she made her approach. She did the opposite of what we talked about earlier. She did what's called a thumbs up swing on the ball. She turned her thumb up as she hit it, putting side spin, forcing it to the sideline. The error from Golson, seventh of the match for Alabama. Florida commanding 6-1 lead here in the third set. If you're a Gators fan, this is the response you've wanted to see here in the third. And a chance yet again. Martin. And that's long, point Bama. Martin missed long there. She was going for the deep corner shot, doing exactly what she should do. I'm sure that's a time when Coach Wise is not disappointed there. Another look for Martin, that's blocked. Fitzpatrick blocked. Alabama's defense are in that point. That was some great discipline blocking from Alabama. I know that's something Coach Reed worked a lot with her team on in the offseason this year. Florida did a good job of covering their hitter, but that second time couldn't respond. Nice serve from Bertucci. Here's Fitzpatrick. AC Fitzpatrick is able to finish the point. Gray, I can't talk enough about how impressive it is when these pin hitters take care of the ball in these out of system swings. When the opposing defense has all the time in the world to set up and they still find a way to score, it's a great job of Fitzpatrick finding a way to win the point for her team. Here's Ray. 
Fitzpatrick got it over. Back to Ray. Martin towards us and out. Good idea by Martin to try to throw that ball. It looked like she was aiming to where Callie Kiefer would be playing defense, trying to take Alabama's setter out of the defense, but missed way wide. Yeah, we are not in the field of play. <laughs> Had to make a few plays over here courtside today. Fitzpatrick. Nice take from Golson. And then Kiefer had no choice but to send it herself, and she missed. Coach Reed looking frustrated that another player didn't step up. That's one of those moments where maybe someone needs to know Kiefer was just blocking on the sideline. I should take this ball. Oh, how about that? Martin creeps it over the net. Florida's up five. It's always darn luck when the other team does that, but it's so skillful when you do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's two aces for Martin. This time she's long. That is the third time, Gray, that we've seen someone serve an ace and then immediately a service error. Not a great feeling for the player or team. Oh, that was all kinds of wonky from Florida, Point, Alabama. Gabby Essex and Kennedy Muff having a conversation after that point. Looks like the tempo of that ball wasn't quite what Essex was expecting. Maybe try again. Keeper's there. Ray. Now Fitzpatrick. AC Fitzpatrick with another one. And Gray, another one down the line after the impressive diving across the court dig by Ellie McKissick. Who is now back at the service line. Campbell, oh my goodness. Foster Auditorium electric after that swing from Chase Campbell. You see her weight in the air and turn on that ball around the big block of Gabby Essex. Great court awareness by Chase Campbell there. Alabama hanging around here in the third set. All three sets have been close. Sophia Victoria pinpoint. Impressive, sharp cross swing from Victor Victoria there. You can see she turns that ball. That's another example of thumbs down. She puts side spin on the ball by snapping her wrist sideways as she made contact with the ball. That's how her body faced forward and the ball went sideways off her hand. Here's Palmer. Oh my goodness. Canan laid out and Florida stays alive in the point. Towns. Martin blocked. The whole Alabama sideline again practically climbing onto the court to celebrate with number 23, Chase Campbell, who waited patiently during that back row attack, presented high hands above the net, sealed to the net, meaning her forearms were right up against it without touching it illegally, of course. Beautiful block by Chase Campbell. Victoria off the hands of Towns. Florida continues to keep Alabama at an arm's length here in the third set. Great, right, we've seen a lot of exciting rallies, but Florida more in command of this set than we've seen them have control of a set so far today. They've done really well on the serve of Muff here in the third. And a lot of great digs by Canaan. That's blocked, though, by Alabama. Another big block by Alabama. The last three points being decided off the hands of the Alabama block. First, we saw Chase Campbell with that huge block. Then we saw Victoria intentionally swing off the hands of Towns. This time, 
Towns and Wells in tandem put that ball back down. Sending Sydney Golson, who's had an ace tonight, back to the service line. Can Alabama get closer than three? Martin, kind of a miss hit, but a chance for the Gators, and they weren't ready, point Alabama. Great job by Kaylee Palmer being in her defensive read position, getting that ball up. And that's another miss, miss calm moment on the Florida side, letting that ball drop. That's something I'm sure they'll discuss. Uh, Golson right at the top of the tape and down for an error. Florida back up three. Long from Victoria. Swapping service errors, that's not the first time we've seen that tonight. And moments like that, it feels like the momentum is just in the air. Which side can grab it back? It's been back and forth, really, all night long. Oh, wow, Okamore, hello. Okamore so high above the net. Look at where she makes contact on this ball. She has all the room in the world to swing simply because she, her vertical is so impressive. She's just so high above the net. That's tough to defend. Okamore listed at 6-4. Ray was able to drop one in. Smart move by Kendall Ray to go for the off-speed shot. Caught the Florida defense on their heels there. And otherwise, they've done such a great job being all over the court, picking the ball up tonight. Fitzpatrick was able to get one down. Mixing it up, AC Fitzpatrick. And we head to break. I've been tussling all night long. The first set, really an epic affair. Florida able to win it 25-23. Gators went on a nice run in the closing moments of the second set to win 25-20. And Alabama and Florida have been ping-ponging points here in the third set. Gators up three. Gators up two after the service error. Typically after a timeout, when there is a service error, you credit that to the coach, but that was a media timeout. Credit goes to the media. We're always looking for some kind of pat on the back. <laughs> oh, that was really well done by Ray, but Florida sends it over. There's Campbell. Great dig again by the Gators. Fitzpatrick. What an effort point for Florida. What an incredible dig we saw there to keep the ball alive, diving across the court with one arm goes Trinity Adams. She's had a really great night tonight at the service line, all across the back row playing defense for her team. She has been all over the place. Here's McKissick. Campbell off balance. Martin, oh, she mishit that. Looks like the timing of her approach was a little bit off. Tried to send an off-speed shot over the net. Alabama will look to capitalize on the rare error from Martin. Lily Hopkins at the service line. Hopkins went after Adams. Victoria. <laughs> Victoria now blocked. Victoria again. Good rally. Towns. Florida's defense is everywhere right now. Campbell. Oh my goodness. 
What a rally. Incredible defense on both sides of the court. Great job by setter Callie Kiefer getting Chase Campbell that ball. Wow, that is, that's what you want from this point in conference play. And this point in the match. We've seen a lot of points like that tonight, folks. Martin is long. We are tied up at 16. And Mary Wise will call a timeout for Florida. The threat all year long for this team. Absolutely. She's had a couple errors tonight, but has also had 16 kills. Tension ramping up at Foster. What a match this has been. Hopkins maybe felt that tension. It's a service error to give Florida right back the lead. And that's what I was referencing earlier, Gray. That's that point goes to Mary Wise. Coaches can give themselves a little pat on the back when they call a timeout and force the next service error. And then that's missed by Kanan. I think that might be the third time this match we've seen these teams trade service errors there. Victoria Schmier will head back to the service line. She's got a tough float serve and has gone on a couple little runs tonight. Yeah, helped Alabama win six straight points back in the first set. There's Martin. Palmer. Oh my goodness. The Florida defense, folks. Wells, a kill for Aaliyah Wells. And that is exactly what I was talking about, Gray. If Alabama can continue to mid-rally, find Wells, find Campbell, keep mixing up their offense, they have got a shot in this set for sure and in this match tonight. Six kills for Wells. That is so good. Sophia Victoria ties it. When that Florida offense is able to run at full speed, it is truly so lethal. You see Victoria making contact with that ball before the Alabama block even really had time to form. Muff, long service error. These unforced errors towards the end of a tight set can can be haunting later. We've seen nine on the night from both teams. And five in this set for Florida. They have kept Alabama in this. Oh, Victoria was able to just find the right spot. Sometimes just being patient on that ball, waiting for the out of system. Putting it across the net can be effective. We've seen both Alabama and Florida commit some errors trying too hard to score. That is a great example, though, of how sometimes just taking care of the ball is what you got to do. Here's Wells. Nothing there. Fitzpatrick has been great all night, but couldn't find space. Wells again. Wells gives Alabama the lead. What a great rally. And Wells taking care of that ball. Great athletic move by Callie Kiefer to go over and get that ball to Wells on the right pin. Substitution, so Kendall Ray checks back in the match, but Kaylee Palmer heads back to the service line. Over to Martin. Martin ties it up. Off the hands of the Alabama block, Martin able to force that ball deep into the court. She's been so successful swinging hard and sharp into the court. Sometimes going for the deep ball can be successful as she's already sucked in the Alabama defense. It's been at these points of the sets where Florida stepped up. Does Alabama have something? Fitzpatrick gives the Gators the lead. Huge swing and another kill for Florida deep into the Alabama court. You see Fitzpatrick swings right into the hole in that block and goes cross court to the opposite corner. 
And we should note another Florida point on the serve of Trinity Adams, who's been so great tonight. Kiefer just had to send it herself. Schmier laid out. Here's Fitzpatrick again, big time. Can we talk about number 14, Kennedy Muff, and the way that she's running this offense? That's the second time we've seen Fitzpatrick swing against practically open net. The Alabama block simply has not. That's what, that's what the South, that's what the SEC wants for this sport. As it grows, it'll only grow that much more with the addition of Texas and Oklahoma that will make this league that much more competitive. Exciting for the sport and exciting for this conference. Yeah, to your point, Alabama 220 in the RPI. Ask Florida if this has been an easy night. Alabama's been game, but the Florida Gators have been clutch. Wells, Alabama needed that. Kill for Aaliyah Wells. No surprise, Alabama looks to Aaliyah Wells right out of that timeout when they needed a point. That was a great sharp cross swing. She did a great job of being disciplined, staying behind the ball, sending that ball over to the opposing sideline. And now the graduate student will serve. Martin takes some off it. A smart shot by the freshman in Florida is two points away from a sweep. Such a smart move by Martin. She does a great job of playing that cat and mouse short long game with her opponents where she takes the big swings and she also throws over the off speed. Here's Ray. Blocked! Match point, Florida! Kendall Ray usually so smart in those out of system moments. Went for the big swing rather than going for that high hands, which I think she usually does in those moments. Off the tape, but Alabama was ready this time. Ray, good dig by McKissick, but then Campbell. Oh, a violation is called, and Florida wins. Rashinda Reed has a challenge left, and she will use it. Coach Reed calls the challenge initially. Chase Campbell called in the net, insistent that she was not. Coach Reed will use her challenge card there, and the officials will take a second look. It can be really tough to see. Oftentimes what the officials are looking for is whether or not the net starts to shake. And when the ball also make, makes contact with the net, that makes it a really tough call. And it looks actually wow. like that was Kennedy Muff for Florida that hit the net, not Chase Campbell, if anyone. Maybe that net angle again. Oh yeah, Muff definitely gets into the net. The officials are discussing on the sideline, but this angle shows pretty clearly they both go up. Campbell makes contact with the ball, and Muff comes down on the net. Campbell definitely does not. I think this is going to be point Alabama. We're going to see these teams head back out here. Alabama 22, Florida still 24 with match and set point. And it is, is overturned. Alabama stays alive. This will send Callie Kiefer back to the service line for Alabama. Lots of energy here in Foster tonight. The fans get excited to see if Alabama can pull off another run here in the third set. They'll have to. Fitzpatrick. Florida gets the sweep yet again over the Alabama Crimson Tide. Beautiful, aware, smart play by Fitzpatrick to end this match tonight with the sharp cross.
समान तो भतार तोर खाई रे चोट समान तो भतार तोर खाई रे चोट समान तो भतार तोर खाई रे ना मिले मजा तो खूब गोरी आई रे ना मिले मजा तो खूब गोरी आई रे समान तो भतार तोर खाई रे चोट समान तो भतार तोर खाई रे स्टूडियो खोरी पाकर